Hi, everyone. Welcome back to A Gentle Process with me, Brie Catherine. How are you guys doing today? I honestly hope that you guys are doing good, that you are staying happy, healthy, and safe. In one of my previous videos, I spoke about my own personal experience with mental illness and my overall mental health journey, where I discussed how psychology helped me better understand my mental health. But I didn't really go that in depth on exactly how studying psychology helped me and why it was so beneficial. So I thought I would make a video where I go a little bit more in depth on it and discuss how psychology can be an amazing tool in managing your mental health. So before we start, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please make sure to click the little emerald in the bottom right hand corner, click subscribe and join my channel family. With all that being said, let's get straight into the video. So we live in a world that is incredibly fast paced. As soon as we grasp one aspect of the world we live in, it immediately evolves and changes so quickly that we have to jump on the next train to grasp a whole new aspect. So it is very, very difficult to keep up with the pace we live in today. And because of this, we have become accustomed and hardwired to constantly think ahead, always be prepared for the next trend and keep moving. We don't have the luxury of slowing down and actually being present in the moment in our lives anymore. And this is the exact result of the new world. And because of this, it is very easy to overlook the little things, forget to look after our physical health, mental health, and not put enough emphasis on self-care. And as a result of this, our mental health suffers. Things like stress, unattainable beauty standards, and fast-paced work life becomes a threat to our mental health and can be the result of developing mental illness. But if we actively try to implement certain patterns and routines in our life that can be beneficial to our mental health, we can begin to see our overall health and quality of life begin to change for the better. So the pattern or the routine that you choose to implement in your life obviously depends on you, your lifestyle, and what you choose to fill your life with that makes you happy. There is no specific routine or pattern that you should follow. Everyone is different. Everyone has different things that makes them happy. And as long as it's healthy, authentic, non-toxic, and doesn't cause any harm to you or others around you, then do whatever makes you happy. But if you naturally are someone who likes to learn and study, or if you are an intellectual or academic fiend like myself, then you might want to consider studying psychology and then applying what you've learned to improve your way of living. And after you do that, you will really start to see how beneficial it can be to your overall life and well-being. So you may be wondering, how exactly can something as simple as studying a subject possibly be that beneficial and help your quality of life? Well, it's important to remember that it's not necessarily what you study, but how you apply what you've studied that makes the difference. Because if you are fortunate enough to attend a university, you know, you can study for three or four years, obtain multiple certificates, and sit with so many years of knowledge but then do absolutely nothing with it. So what you choose to do with what you learn is the difference between how beneficial or how inconsequential it can be to you. Because getting a degree or even obtaining your honors doesn't always guarantee that you will even be able to find a job. And I mean, that's just the reality of it. But, and this is a big but, the knowledge you gain is something that no one can ever, ever take away from you. You can't unlearn something that you've already learned. Another thing to keep in mind is that studying or learning is a lifetime thing. 
you constantly need to keep studying and updating your knowledge and skills in a specific field to keep up with the changing world and the industry of your choice. And this is where training programs come in. So what exactly is the purpose of a training program? There are three main aims of a training program. One, to improve your awareness of a specific industry of your choice. Two, and this is the most obvious aim, to increase your skills in a specific area of expertise. And then three, hopefully increase your motivation and passion for a specific industry. So with reference to the psychology industry, psychological training programs focus on the psychological well-being of people. These programs are beneficial because they offer psychological information and skills that can help you function better as a human being. So this is why I say psychology is such a vital and beneficial discipline in bettering who you are as a person and your well-being. Now, usually the aim of these programs are to be able to professionally apply yourself, your skills and knowledge you acquire within your career or your profession as a psychologist, therapist, counsellor, and how to use the skills and the knowledge you have acquired to actually counsel clients. But if you are a psychologist, counsellor, or, you know, just an academic doing these programs, we tend to actually neglect to use those skills and the knowledge and actually apply it within our own lives. So the main purpose of this video is to show you that the knowledge you gain and the skills you acquire isn't just for professional application, it's there for you too. You can use it to improve your way of living too. So when you take into consideration which parts of your life or well-being you maybe want to improve on, we consider our objective within studying psychology or doing these psychological training programs. And the objective of these programs is basically just what we aim to achieve from the program itself. So hypothetically speaking, say you have had 10 clients over the course of the week and after each session you conclude that there is a common denominator between each of these clients in other words is a very apparent and specific need and this need is you know just an example how to be able to manage anxiety and maybe you know reduce the effects of anxiety so as a counselor or psychologist you will decide it's your responsibility to address this need and your aim is you want to improve your knowledge and your skills with regards to anxiety disorders so you enroll in an anxiety management or anxiety reduction training program and one of the objectives of the specific program would be providing more information on anxiety and anxiety disorders and two ways of doing this would be one explaining what anxiety is how it develops and why it develops and then two learning skills such as coping mechanisms for proper anxiety management and reduction so after you have gained this knowledge and you've acquired these skills then you can take it and professionally apply it in sessions with each of your clients. Now, obviously, each client will react differently to it because everyone is different and everyone responds differently to treatment, but you get the idea. But this knowledge and these set of skills are not limited to just the client. It can be applied to yourself too. And this is actually known as self-knowledge. So say you as the professional or the academic lives with anxiety yourself. The self-knowledge on say, anxiety management and reduction that you've learned from the training programs can help you understand why you experience anxiety. And it basically gives you an awareness of anxiety and will in turn alter your understanding of it, your relationship with anxiety and how to actually manage it better. So more specifically, 
if you are say a family or marriage counselor for example a requirement would be to attend a training program on interpersonal dynamics your aim would be to improve your knowledge and skills on interpersonal dynamics so generally the need of the clients are to improve their interpersonal relationships and address certain interpersonal dynamics i mean that's that's literally what the aim of you know family and marriage counseling is so the objective of this program would be providing more information on interpersonal relationships and dynamics and as mentioned in the first example there are two ways of doing this one explain different interpersonal dynamics how these dynamics form and why they exist and then two, learn skills such as how to communicate effectively and reduce interpersonal disputes. So you gain this knowledge, you acquire the skills, and again, you professionally apply it to your family sessions or your couple sessions with your clients. But then you take the self-knowledge, go home, and you apply it into your own interpersonal relationships, such as your family or your marriage. So whether you are still a psychology student, or you're an actual practicing and professional psychological counselor, or you know, you're just curious about psychology, I mean, that's what I love about studying psychology is the fact that it's very inclusive. You can see just how beneficial these training programs can be to yourself as an individual too. So now that we know what psychological training programs are, you may be interested to know what kind of programs are offered in South Africa, in case you're interested. Now, you can do what I did and actually go to a tertiary institution, you know, like UNISA to obtain your BA degree in psychology, even obtain your honors in psychology, or you could do an applied psychology course at SACAP. And what exactly is SACAP? SACAP is the South African College of Applied Psychology. And SACAP offers accredited psychology courses. They have campuses in Cape Town, Durban, PE. And they also offer online distance learning courses if you want to study from the comfort of your home. Or you could do an actual psychology training program with the Knowledge Academy it is one of the most globally recognized institutions. They offer career advancement courses specifically in psychology. And just to give you an idea of some of the courses that they offer, they offer psychology of personal growth courses, masterclasses on how to handle anxiety, mindfulness training programs, how to handle your stress and develop your resistance. They even offer mental health and well being training training programs and so many more if you are interested in taking a course or training program with the knowledge academy you can head on over to their website i will link it in the description box below so this is why i say studying psychology or taking a psychological training program can be an amazing beneficial tool in managing your own mental health you can take the self-knowledge you gain from these courses and programs and apply it to your own life, situation, and improve your own quality of life and mental health, just like I did. And just remember, everyone is different. Your own journey towards managing your mental health is your own. No two people's mental health experience or mental health journey is the same because everyone is different. It all depends on how you apply your self-knowledge that determines the quality of your mental health. And another thing, it's never too late to make your mental health a priority. Self-care is the most important form of well-being or wellness. And just because you make self-care priority doesn't make you selfish, it makes you self-aware. So that is all for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. Make sure to click that little emerald in the bottom right hand corner, click subscribe and join my channel family. I also hope you learned something of value today. And if I have inspired or motivated you to study psychology or to take a psychological training program or course, then my work here is done. <laughs> Don't forget to turn on that bell notification so you get notified when I upload more content like this. I hope you have an amazing day further. I hope you stay happy 
healthy and safe. Look after yourself. Always remember to love yourself and give love. Find value and see beauty in everything that you do. I love you. I appreciate you. And I'll see you in the next video. Much love. Bye.